welcome to my channel. My name is Paige. If you've never seen my face before, please consider subscribing before you leave. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It has been a long, emphasis on long time since your girl has done a favorites video and you guys have been requesting for it and I don't know why I hadn't delivered. I don't know. Speaking of delivered, I'm officially six months pregnant. <laughs> anyway, so I have rounded up an abundance of random things. I mean, I got a little bit of everything up in here, up in here. I figured no time is more perfect than the present, so it's time. Tis time to talk about my current favorite must have things to have in my current stage of life. A portion of today's video is being sponsored by the lovely Scentbird Company. I will get to that a little bit later, but I am super excited to jump into these things. Some you may have seen me talk about in a vlog or something. Maybe these are new totally to you and you've never even seen me talk about them before. I don't know, I was trying to get some stuff that would just shake your earth under you. <laughs> I don't know, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first random thing that I wanted to mention are my new straws. Super obsessed. Not only did I buy some silicone ones, but I also bought some new metal ones. We didn't have straws. It was like they're just growing legs and walking off, so I figured I needed to order some more. But now my husband's saying we got too many. I need to figure something else out. But I got um, a set of like some colored ones. I'll have everything that I talk about in today's video linked down below. But obviously pink is my favorite one, and it came with two different pink ones, the bent one and the straight one. Obviously, those are my favorite ones. They match my cups perfectly. And since I'm holding this cup up, I might as well go ahead and talk about it. This is one of my new favorites. I drink specifically nothing but water out of this cup, and I fill it up multiple times a day. And this is a Yeti knockoff. If you know me, I love my Yetis. I have every one of them. <laughs> All the styles you could possibly think of, I have them. But I did not get the 30 ounce one when it was out with the limited edition paint. And this company came out with this super duper knockoff one under eight bucks. Yes, under eight dollars. And I had to have it because I needed it to finish my pink cup collection. So um, I will link this one down below. Hopefully I can find it, like I said, super dirt cheap. And the straw matches perfectly. Scent Bird. This is not the first time here on my channel that I've talked about Scent Bird. Obviously, your girl's obsessed with perfumes. If you're new, then you probably didn't know that. Probably wasn't as obvious to you as it is to me. But I love, I love the concept of Scent Bird because you get to test out perfume before buying a whole thing of it. And if you know perfume, you know the good stuff's like over $100 for a teeny tiny little ounce bottle. Now, some of them are totally worth it, but that's after you've tried it out, your skin chemistry loves it. Not every perfume smells the same on people, and if somebody were to recommend something and you go out and you spend $150, $200 on a perfume and then you don't like it on yourself, that's a total bummer. So this is why I love Scentbird so much, because it's a trial service. You pay a very small amount each month, and they send you new perfume to try. You can pick what you want. They have different ones for you to pick from, but it's just, it's just a really, really neat concept, y'all. If you haven't tried it yet, you definitely should. Super, super discounted compared to what you would get like in a rollerball, a little, a little rollerball that you would get at like Ulta or wherever you get your little rollerballs. They're still expensive. They're like 20 and $30 and they're not even this much perfume in the bottle. So you're getting a really good amount of perfume to test out and see if you like it, see if your skin works well with it before you actually buy the whole bottle perfume. So this month I am trying out Philosophy's Amazing Grace, which was highly recommended by y'all on Instagram. Nest Fragrances Citron, which I actually really loved. I had never heard of that one, but I love it. And last but not least, Prada's Candy Floral. Another one that was highly recommended by y'all. I have these little tubes everywhere in this house, in my vehicle, in every purse, because I never clean out a purse. Give this video a thumbs up if you never fully clean out one of your purses and you move on to the next one if there's like a whole little life living in that purse that you ain't even using no more but just in case you decide to pick it up one day you still got some extra goodies in there I know I know I'm not the only one let me know down in the comment so you easily just twist this up right here see that twist it you can pop this out I love the packaging I love the convenience of this and mm, 
I love being able to try before I totally commit to spending a couple hundred bucks on something. So if you have not, look down below in the description box. I will have more information about Scentbird. You can try out maybe a scent that you've been looking to try out, but maybe you didn't want to spend the big bucks on it. I got you, sis. I'm gonna hook you up. Mm. God, it smells good. Since we're in the beauty category, let's go ahead and jump on into some makeup. My new Holy Grail concealer, foundation, whatever, all in one. I have been using the It Cosmetics CC Cream for probably the last two or three years. Still love it, but I wanted something that was gonna give me a little bit more coverage without the work, if that makes sense. So I was putting on the CC Cream, and then I would put a little bit of concealer under my eyes, you know, and like, Pluck that out, bounce that beauty blender, bounce, 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 bounce. But I just felt like that was just too much. I wanted to use just a concealer and be done. And I only wanted to work in my like trouble area. So I just wanted to put it under my eyes, maybe around my nose and blot it out and be fine. So I needed something that was gonna be easy to work with that gave me pretty decent coverage, but that I could find a color that would work well with my skin tone in case I didn't want to cover my entire face, if you get the gist. So one of my girlfriends recommended this, and I cannot thank her enough. I am obsessed, obsessed. Not only with the formula, because that was like the main thing I was looking for, but the packaging. This big doe foot applicator thing is everything, okay? I literally go in one time, I use whatever's on this, I put it all over my eyes, on my eyelids, I'll even go up here, around my nose, on my chin. All of that with one little applicator stick and I just blot it in with my little Real Techniques Beauty Blender thing, you know, the orange one, the cheap one. I use that one and just blend it all in. I am in the shade Golden Beige. It is the perfect tone for me. I love the coverage that it gives. It is buildable, so if you want a little bit more coverage than what it is on that first application, you can just go in and add some more, but it is is perfection. If you have not tried it and you've been looking for something like this, I highly, highly recommend it. <sighs> Let's talk brows. We're not going to look at my brows right now because they need a hand from the Lord above. They need Jesus to come down and help them out. We're not even going to talk about that. But my holy grail eyebrow products have easily, easily, easily became the Benefit stuff. When Desi Perkins collabed with Benefit and she came out with her whole little kit, I went out and bought it, had to have it, and I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I've been using it since Christmas and I love it. So six months of me using it. Absolutely love everything, but I will link down below my favorite items from the kit because you definitely don't need everything. I don't know if they sell them separately, but if they do, I will link them all. This 24 hour brow setter and the brow pencil and also the brow powder, obsessed, obsessed. Can't speak any more highly of it. If you've been looking for like the perfect brow stuff to use. And I love that the brow powder and then the brow pencil gives me two different looks. Like if I want more of a natural, lived in, not so much, you know, precise brow, I like to use the powder, the pencil. I just, I love them, I love them all. I'll link it all below. Skincare. So when I first got pregnant, I knew that there were gonna be some things that I had to stop using for the time being just because you wanna be on the safe side. There are certain things you're not supposed to use when you're pregnant. So I was trying to be good, you know? So I did switch out some of my skincare and Tatcha was an easy replacement. They are a little bit on the pricier side, just a smidgen, but they are totally worth it. I got one of the little like starter kits to try out a bunch of the smaller size things before I committed to buying the bigger bottles. I've heard wonderful, wonderful things about this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It's like, holy water. <laughs> how to explain it but this is I've used a lot of different mists in my time and I still like those I still like me some rose water a bunch of different you know facial sprays and stuff but this one this one's really good I don't know how to explain it it's very light but I feel so awake when I spray it my skin is like yay when I spray it on my face I don't know what it is in this little bottle but I'm scared to know how much the big one is but it's just that good to make me want it. Like, once this bottle's empty, I'm I'm gonna want it. And you know it's gonna be cheaper to buy the bigger one than the smaller one, so try it, y'all. Just try it. I guess we're gonna put this in the beauty category and we're gonna work our way into hair stuff. But this has been a game changer for sure. This is Shea Moisture's 100% pure Jamaican black castor oil. Now, 
forewarning you, this stuff is rank, it stinks, it is not a good time in a bottle, but it does good things for you. So I apply this to my scalp. You can actually put it on your brows, on your lashes, all the things for hair growth, but I've only been using it on my scalp. I probably need to like venture out and taste it out in some other places, but this is so good for you, for your hair. So what I like to do, I put this on before I'm going to do like my wash routine. So typically I like to do this the night before, really get it into my scalp and work it in there and brush it in. Now where's my brush? I bought this brush specifically for this reason. You want a good boar bristle brush. So I will brush my scalp first before I even put this on there. Just to waken it up, this is really good for your scalp. The boar bristles is great for your scalp. So it's going to waken your scalp up, help produce those natural oils that your scalp needs to really thrive. And then I apply this all over my scalp, massage it in, and then I brush it again. I pull it back and I go to sleep. Like I said, it's gonna stink. So if you gotta go somewhere that next day, you might wanna put a cap on or try to do like some sleek pull back pony or something. I like to leave it in as long as I possibly can and then wash it out and do my whole wash routine. But this has changed my hair. I'm telling you because my hair was crying, crying from the roots to the tips because this baby inside of me was taking all of my nourishment. My hair was super dry. It just looked like it needed Jesus all the time. It didn't matter what I did. And when I started using this, I'm just gonna say that it's all because of this. Honestly, this stuff has been a game changer. Before I get into all of the other hair stuff, I do have a body item that I need to talk about. I've talked about this brand before. This is not a first time here on my channel. I've showed it in routines. I think I've just mentioned it randomly in vlogs, but this Skin Sugar Glow Stuff by Skin and Apothecary. I actually think they recently changed their name. I follow them on Instagram and they were saying something about they changed their company name. I have no idea what it is now and I don't know how to pronounce it. But this Sugar Glow, I'm almost out. Can y'all see? You see this? This is my favorite one. I have a whole other bottle of another scent and I think it's Santorini or something like that, but this poppy is so good. I don't even know. I didn't think I would like Poppy. They sent it to me sometime last year. I fell in love with it. People thought I was hyping it up because it was being sponsored. They thought I was doing the most. But let me tell you, this video has not been sponsored by them and I'm still gonna hype it up because I love it. Love it. The scent not only lingers and it's such a good scent, but whatever combination of oils that they use in this scrub, does wonders for your body. And now that I'm pregnant, I use this on my belly and my belly, I have not gotten any stretch marks yet. I don't think it's from this. I just don't think I've gotten them yet on my stomach. But I feel, I don't feel like I necessarily have to lather down my belly when I get out of the shower or my body for that matter because the oils in this have enriched my skin so I don't feel dry when I'm getting out of the shower. This stuff is just good. I mean, they also have other body stuff but if I had to pick a favorite, it is the Sugar Glow all day. I've tried Salt Glow. Obviously it's a different texture because it's salt compared to sugar, but I love the sugar. Sugar Glow is bomb. Back to the hair stuff. You guys have probably seen the video that I did on trying this bad boy out. And I've been obsessed with it ever since. And I have not stopped using it. This is how I blow dry my hair now. I do not pull out a blow dryer and a brush and do all that work. I literally just use this and I'm so obsessed. So, so obsessed. If you missed that video, I'll link it above. But this thing is a game changer. I don't care what kind of hair you got, this is where it's at. This is the Revlon something, another styler brush something. I don't know, but this is where it's at, okay? I am not one to go out and change my styling tools very often. There must be a lot of hype around something in order to get me slightly interested enough to even kind of want to try it. So I seen a tutorial of a girl here on YouTube. She used this smoothing iron to do her hair. Now I am obsessed, obsessed, and I have been for the last seven years seven years with my Paul Mitchell smoothing iron. I even recently got a new one because they changed it up some and I felt like I needed a new one. I had had mine for seven years, so I recently got one last year. Well, I seen her straighten her hair with this and this whole cool mist feature had me very interested. Interested enough to the point that when the company reached out to me about another styling tool, 
I had to ask about this one. And they had no problem with sending it over to me, so I was like, honey, yes, if it's free, I'll try it all day. <laughs> but I would buy this in a heartbeat after I have now used it on this head. And it is a game changer for real. I am not even joking. I don't know if it's the plates or if it's a combination of the plates with that cool mist stuff. But it's got its own little place that you put their special macadamia oil. You put it inside this little thing and then you push this button on here. And when you go on your hair, and the plates have to be closed in order for it to release that cool mist, but you push the button as you're going down a strand of hair, and it releases that macadamia oil cool mist. So as you're flat ironing it, it's sealing the oil goodness into your hair. I'm gonna also say that this has helped my hair. Not just the Jamaican black castor oil, but this right here. I smooth it out one time, one pass on each strand, and I don't touch it again until I get ready to wash it and do it all over again. I am obsessed with this, obsessed with this. I'll use it for another few months, see if I'm still obsessed and I'll update y'all, but so far the last three or four, three or four, three months I've used this. I've used nothing but this, nothing but this. Highly, highly, highly recommend. Since we're still on the topic of hair, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about these and this one that's in my hair. These are two totally different sets, but I got a big bundle of hair scarves and I love these because they're actually able to be took apart. I hate the ones that are just like this. So this is a scrunchie with a scarf attached. But what if I wanted to use a scarf and not necessarily the scrunchie? Or maybe I wanted to just scrunchie and not scarf. But you can actually take these apart and use them separately. Which I think is amazing because maybe I don't want to use it in the way that it's intended. So I got a big pack of these. And these are not all the ones that I got. But I thought those were super cute and playful for summertime. And this one here is a really, really big scarf. Super long. So you're able to do like this kind of style with it. I do have a video coming up showing how I do what I got going on in my hair right now, but obsessed, totally obsessed with hair scarves right now. A pregnancy must have, must, must have. And if you have problems sleeping period, maybe you should try it too. But this pillow is a game changer. I cannot express my love for my pillow. Every night when I lay in my little pillow, I call it my pillow island. And it is life changing. It is so life changing. I I have not had any problems with sleeping and I think it's because of this pillow no matter which way I turn I am comforted I don't feel like my back hurts or like my belly's heavy like I just feel supported from all directions and I'm obsessed I'm totally obsessed so I will make sure I will make sure this pillow is linked down below because y'all need it this next thing is random it's super duper random but one of the beautiful things of pregnancy is having to pee a lot, a lot, a lot. And it's because things are being crammed in there. This baby is kicking places she don't need to be kicking. So even if there's about like this much pee in there, it feels like I got a big, a big amount of pee that I need to get rid of. But it's just because of the pressure that she's putting on there. So I'm constantly, constantly using the bathroom. And at night it's dark and I hate to turn on the light and wake Cody up and or I hate to wake myself up because it's going to be hard for me to go back to sleep. So I found this thing on Amazon. <laughs> and it is the randomest $8. I think it was $8 that I've ever spent on anything on Amazon. But it comes in handy. It's a little toilet light. It's motion activated and or light. So if it sees light, it stays off. But if it's dark and there's motion in front of it, it comes on and it, it's different colors. You can set it to be one color. But it'll come on and I can see the toilet clearly. I know where I'm going. I know where I have to be. <laughs> but it's not so bright that I'm going to fully wake up. I can immediately go right back to sleep once I'm done. I know that's random, but it's the little things in life. Every time y'all see me with these shades on, y'all blow me up asking where are they from. Now, they are not no cheap little Walmart shades or you know, $5 shades, they ain't. They're not, they're just not. These are the most expensive shades I own, um, but they're still on, they're under 100 bucks. I think they're like 70 or 80, and they're by Diff. I've mentioned them in another video, but y'all still keep asking, so I figured I would, I would mention these. I wear these all the time. I think they go with everything because they're a tortoise shell um, color, so they're like black and brown, and I don't know, I just love the style of them. 
They are so worth the money. The, the quality of them are everything. So yeah, just love those. Shoes. So I have two different pairs of shoes that I want to talk about. These are my new Birkenstocks and I'm living, breathing all the things for these shoes. They are everything to me. Even though I think I'm walking different now that I'm pregnant and I... I'm got I'm I'm having some trouble. I'm having some trouble. So I've been trying to test out different shoes and I absolutely love these. Pregnant or not, Birkenstocks are a must. And these are my new ones. They're my new favorite. Love the color. Love the comfort of the soft footbed compared to the just normal footbed. I love these. And I currently have these on. These are my new Crocs and I'm obsessed with these. I wear them all day long around the house outside they're lightweight my feet don't really sweat like a, a whole lot in them my feet feel comfortable if you've never tried on a pair of crocs i know a lot of people just think they're ugly i mean they're not the prettiest shoe in the world but when you try them on and walk in them you'll understand why people wear these shoes because they are uber comfy i also have a pair of sandals that I love, but I wanted a pair of like the traditional clog like shoe. Cody has the camouflage ones and I'll take his all the time and I'll wear them. So I said, okay, I finally, I'll just get me a pair and I'm obsessed with this color. I'll have this exact one linked down below. Y'all always ask for cleaning stuff. I figured I would share my new laundry combo that I'm living for and it is all gain everything. I use these fireworks along with the liquid detergent and the liquid fabric softener. My clothes have never smelled better. No joking. This combo is amazing. I normally get mine from Sam's Club when we go. I'll go ahead and stock up on like the big bottles because like I said, that's all I use. I'll throw about a half of a cap of these in a load. It just smells good and it smells good for a long time. Not just when you take it out of the dryer. You can fold your clothes up and put them away in the drawer and they'll still smell good. I, don't, I ain't gonna say for how long after, but they do smell good for a long amount of time. And this firework, mm, this just, this is the epitome of clean to me. Okay, and last but not least is my necklace that I have on. I don't know if you can see it really good from here, but it is my mama necklace. And I get questions every time y'all see this. This was a Mother's Day gift to myself. Well, actually from the company itself. They decided to send me a necklace and I was able to give one away on Instagram and y'all jumped on that giveaway so quickly, but this is by Brooke in York, and it is totally customizable. So if you don't want it to say mama, you're not a mama. You want it to have your name, or maybe your kid's name, or your husband's name, or your dog's name. You can put whatever you want on these necklaces. Mine is the rose gold color, and I am obsessed. I don't take it off. I did get a massage the other week, and I did take it off for that, but I immediately put it right back on. I wash with it. I sleep with it. If I were to go swimming, I would swim with it. It is perfect it is amazing amazing quality it's the perfect length i feel like it's the perfect like density like it's not too heavy but it's not too light doesn't feel cheap at all it has an adjustable chain on it so if you don't want it up as high or you want it up higher or lower you can adjust it but it is my new favorite piece like i said i'll never take it off so that is all for this totally random i'm trying to like look around and make sure i didn't forget anything i think that was all yeah that was all that's it for this totally random collection of current favorite goodies let me know down in the comments what is your current favorite must-have thing that you just gotta have that i did not mention in today's video i love seeing the things that you guys have to have and that you love recommending to me because if they're that good a girl's gotta try them out for herself don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you enjoyed this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up i will see y'all in the next one i hope you have a beautiful and blessed day y'all bye if you like pina colada <laughs> I'm shocked anybody even sits and watches me. Why? Mm, oh, they smell so good. One. One. Who you Smells so good. BRB.
Wait. <laughs>